So welcome back to the channel. Today we is at my boy Mr. Feed the Fish Crib and we is going to be giving you guys a tour of his fish room. He has tons of fish down here. It's really nice tanks. We're going to go through, spend some time, take a look at all these aquariums. So make sure you guys stick around. Probably a little bit of a longer video. So make sure you guys stick around and watch everything because you don't want to miss what he got going on. Where you want to start at though? We'll start, we'll start at this here. tank. Definitely looking good. You start over here, Matt. Just set this tank up. I had the Oscars in here first, and then it was just getting old. The look was getting old. It was dark with the black gravel, so I was changing the gravel. Oh, well, this is a what? One twenty-five, man. Yeah, one twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five gallon, and you got the your breeding the, pair. Breeding pair discus in there. You got some Congos in there. You got some rainbows. Two different type of rainbow fish in there. I see the bows, monies. And then I got some. Uh, Odessa barbs in there. Where they at? I ain't even seen them. Oh, they down at the they bottom. They down at the bottom. They stay at the bottom. Nice. And then I got a... I got a... I see some Cynodonis or what is that? I think I seen some. Oh, that's a little... That's a Cory. That's a... Oh, okay. A little stir, stir by. By. Oh, I see them back there. And I got I got three Wabba Musters in there, but I don't know where they at. They, they hide. They hide on the driftwood or something. So. Yeah, that's a dope thing. This the one you were telling me about. You was like, it just looked good, huh? It just looked good, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you put the discus in here, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you had to get them out of that 20 gallon. Yeah, I mean, I put them over there just to breed, breed them. Yeah, you know, I got tired of doing that, so I'm glad you still got some discus around, man. Well, they're in there looking good. Some good plants. You got some what? Some type of jungle valve in here. Some cribs. Yeah, yeah, a couple different valves in there. Some cribs. Them Congo tabs are starting to get some nice color already, too. Yeah, they're looking good. Definitely. I ain't got the best lighting on there either, but... No, they still look good, though. They're looking good. For sure. That's look at that one right there. That... See no speckles on her? Yeah, I can't even, <laughs> get, her in, can't even get her in frame. She's just so glossy. <laughs> She's definitely looking good. Yeah, this is a dope tank. And what you just got this ran off of, what, a little canister? Yeah, I just got, I got two small canisters on there running that. I got an e Eheim on there and a Pluvo 407. No water changes, nothing. Just, just natural. Off. Yeah, just natural. Yeah, that's nice, man. When the Modesto bars is bigger, it's really going to bring it all together. It's going to bring it together, but look how small they is. Yeah, they tiny compared to these guys. Yeah, they tiny. But the rainbows is a great show fish anyway, so. Them both minies, they're going to be huge. This might be enough rainbows and congos you need for this tank because they're going to be huge and eventually. Yeah, they will. They're looking good in there, though. Definitely is. Definitely is. Might be my favorite tank you got right now. Maybe the one behind me, though. I don't know. These these Oscars in here, it's though. looking good. Yeah, the Oscars, I mean. This is crazy. You know, How many is that? No. Oh. That's like. 20 of them or something 20 like that. limit Oscars. Maybe 18. I don't know how many. In the 300 like gallon aquarium. And you, you got, got the rays in here. In there, four English air bicers. I don't know how your bicers be growing so fast. What do you feed your fish? I'm just feeding them pellets. I don't, I, I don't get it. Sometimes I give them shrimp, you know, every now and again. But for the most part, I feed them pellets. Man, they are huge. I just give them a million water changes and... And feed them. That's it. Yeah, that's that's it. Still got the rays going. Still Look at this one hiding. <laughs> the little eyes popped out. They're looking good. They're getting big. That's a black diamond. That's a hybrid or a pure black? Hybrid. Hybrid. Yeah. Dope. Another the bicer in here. Good bicer, good Oscars, and good poop. Yeah, plenty of poop, huh? Plenty of poop. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to know how much poop I, I clean up all the time. Oh, that's dope, though. All these Oscars is looking good in their schooling together, though. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. They, they looking good. In that's there. something you never seen before. I ain't never seen that many Oscars in one tank just schooling. Yeah, they looking good. Especially for the size they is. They looking real good in there. They definitely are. They looking dope, man. 300. Let me get a little side view. 300 gallons. What's this tank, what? Four feet deep or three feet? It's three feet deep. Three feet deep. Three feet deep, six feet long, and like 30 inches tall or something. Yeah, it's massive aquarium. 
All ran off a of sump. Looking good. That's it. One sump. What you got going on this 125? Just African galore. Just Africans in there, man. Just some, uh, just two species. We got the Venustas in there. Look at that zebra oblique one. Zebra oblique one. That's it. He is colored up. He definitely colored up. That's my. That's the original one. That's my original male. The one you got from Fields. The one I got from Fields. And he was colored up as a baby. Yeah. Okay. Them is, them is all his kids. Okay. So you know. You know the quality they gonna be. You see, A1. even these ones got great color too. Ventustas, how you say Ventustas? Venustas. Venustas. They looking good. Definitely, it's some nice males. They not mean and nasty. Oh yeah, they mean and nasty. They didn't kill them. They didn't kill a few, a few of the females just trying to breed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. they don't, they don't just go after each other though. This is all they do all day. Well, it's probably good you got a bunch of them together. Yeah, I got a lot of them. If it was only a few, yeah, they'd be mean and nasty. Let's just ran off a of sump. Just ran off a of sump down there, that's it. Nothing special. A couple extra sponges from biological and mechanical. That's it. Crystal clear. Yeah, it looked good. You need no F you don't need no FX six over here. Nah. You need all this five hundred dollar filters. Nah, it's near sump. Look at you this. Don't need no, hey, you don't need no sea chem products either. <laughs> Ain't no stability. Unless there. unless it's prime. Look, show it. Only sea chem product I run. That's, That's it. it. Don't need no, no stability, no, no purigen, no none, none of, of it. None of that. that. Like people tell y'all y'all need all these products. Ain't no products in the wild. Ain't no sea chem products in the wild. Come on, man. Why would you put it in your aquarium? Tell them. It's just all natural. Tell them. Let me stand right here where you at. So what's going on this tank? This is insane. Yeah, I got like I got like three or four different species of fish in this tank right here. Yeah, this is insane. The uh, sulfur heads. Yeah, I got some sulfur heads in there. Which is they got different colors. So these is orange and then these is yellow. Yeah, I'm seeing but that. But they both sulfur heads, and then we got some uh the fryer eyes in there. Yeah, I see a couple of nice males. Nice male. Then we got the Taiwan reefs right here. You got, you got any I males of those? Oh, they're yeah, a male right here. Yeah, a male right here. Yeah. I sold the dominant males yesterday. Though. I sold it to somebody. But I still got... These are color up These, too. they about to be colored up anyway. So. Yeah, no time. Yeah. Ain't no big deal. Then we got these right here. they like the one I got at the house, huh? Red Jacob. Yeah. Yeah, kind I mean, of like, they could be they could be ruby reds, eureka red. These is eureka reds. That's what these. Yeah, are. it's so hard to tell because everything's so crossbred nowadays. Yeah, they all with look the same peacocks, anyway. yeah. sure. it's so hard to know what you really got. Yeah, unless you got a bunch of females in there. Yeah, you are getting, getting a lot of babies. babies. Oh, you showed me them all the babies. We are gonna get to them. Yeah, you got a thousand of we these got a babies. babies. That's crazy. A thousand of them, literally. Look, she in there holding. Back there, a little fryer. Oh, yep, I see her, yeah. I'm to the point where I don't even strip them no more. I just, I pull them out. That's it. Yeah. I just pull the females out because they ain't doing them. They're yellow. Yeah. Yeah, he looks good. He yellow and orange. Yeah. And then this one got got the orange on him. See, look look at how his eyes is. Look at how he got, like, them black marks by his nose. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this one is white with a yellow head. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I know they sulfur heads. I know that. It's probably but different. They just different strains of it. That's all. For different sure. generations. What's down here? You got a million fish down here. It's like the several, some walrus. I got some, yeah, red shoulder severs. Walrus have got big. Yeah, I want to shoot them. I got some baby. These baby. This a red terror right here. Oh, that's a red terror. That's a red terror. That's a red terror. Then this is a. That's a Texas signal. Red thing. Texas. That's a red Texas too. He's super red right there. He just ain't faded. Yeah. But he still got the same gene because they. You can all, see the red in them though. They all brother and sister. So I'm trying to get on. There's three of them in there. That's the best looking one though, right here. Oh, I ain't see that one. That one. He all the way faded. Yeah, he got them. Blotches on him. Look at the 
great. It definitely is. Ain't nothing but an inch and a half. I already faded. You know the line is A1. That's a cool tank. Quite a few raw rules. You going to have these at the swap next? Yeah, I'm going to have them. At, I took them to the last one. I sold, I sold quite a few at the last one. Oh, I didn't know you had a problem. Look at some of these servos, though, because, like, look at, look at his face. Oh, yeah, he got that red on him. Yeah, he looking real good. That one, too. Let me get close up on him. Oh, yeah, you can see that red on him. Yeah, he looking real good. Throw so him in the 300. Yeah, he going in the 300. Look at this one. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, he going in the 300. They just got to put on some more size because them stingrays will suffocate them. It's crazy. So y'all looking for any of these type of fish? You will have these at the next swap. You gonna bring most of all this stuff? You yeah, bring the sofa head? I ain't gonna take no Africans, man. If they want Africans, they can just get in touch with me. Yeah. I ain't finna haul all these Africans. <laughs> nah, I don't blame you. I ain't got time to be venting them and all that. I, yeah, it's hectic. It's a lot. Buy a mail, you get five, five free fish. Pretty much. Five fish for the price of one. Yeah. That's how I'm doing it. Can't beat it. Buy one male, I'm going to give you whatever. Five, four other fish that is. Could, put, could be possible. Could potentially be a male or a female. Right. That's the only way I'm selling them. I'm not selling no single fish. If I sell a single fish, you got to pay top dollar. Bro. Yeah. And some of these males can definitely go for top dollar. Especially if I'm going to be stuck with them. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I got a top Look at this big old canister down there. That's huge. That's the canister that's running the one running this time. Yeah, that thing's huge. That's why it's so clear, bro. So what you got going over here? I like these little tanks. You yeah. got some cabensies. Yeah, two pair of cabensies in there. And you got babies from these right already. From With these. This one, yeah. This is my original breeding pair right here. They babies down there. Mm, they didn't got big. Yeah. They ain't nothing but a month or two old. Let me see. All these are your plecos in here too, huh? Yeah, all my plecos in there and then a bunch of baby cabensis. This tank hard to focus on. Oh yeah, yeah it's I dark. see. These regular regular bristle noses. Yeah. There's some calicos in there and some albinos, albino back there on the glass. Calicos. It's probably the 150 plecos in here. Yeah, they all like hiding it. over here in the corner, too. Definitely look there like it. Calico right there. Looking good. Definitely looking good. I see you got some new activity going over here. Yeah, we got a little breeding activity over there. That's the electric little cars. Breeding pair. So all the rest of them, I'm getting rid of them. You can tell they've been in here banging, too. Well, I had, I had some other fish in here, but yeah, they've been in there banging each other, too, man. Yeah. yeah. The female gets real aggressive. Yeah, she's been fighting him. Yeah, she's trying knows. to hold him off for what, I don't know. Cause yeah, they, I don't know. The females, they get really aggressive. I don't know why. I got a pair of plecos in there. I'm waiting to see. This one is. Oh, I ain't even see it. That right in front of my male. face. Or the, I don't know if the male or the female get the biggest, but that one is big, and then this one is small, but you can't see this. In that what room. kind are they? Them is the uh, L three ninety six or something like that, the, the red tiger plecos. Mm. Well, that's good. I'm glad you got some fry out of them. And they all look healthy. Ain't nothing fungus over either. Yeah, they've been there for forty eight hours at least. Yeah, they should they should hatch in a couple of days. It was like two days ago. So. Over here, you got still got some Nicaraguans. You got Nicaraguans. They ain't they ain't active for some reason. You got good females in there. You need, some, you need a dither in here. That's yeah, all. I, I took all these. I took all the female Africans out, and ever since I took them out, they ain't been having no activity at all. These are all your females. Yeah, it's just ain't all of them, but it's a lot. Of them. <laughs> all of these are the ones I got fried from, though. Oh, okay, gotcha. But every time I get fried, I just pull them out the tank and throw them down there. Some, still got some nice looking ones in there, though. Yeah, there's some good females in there with some red on their bellies. Yeah, they just they just need a little dither fish. That's it. It's probably a big male hiding in here. Usually it'd be like a male hiding in that hole right there. Yeah, they just need a good dither fish. Yeah, now over here, woo -hoo -hoo. look at this man. You would have thought you didn't. 
got a shipment in. It looked like it. <laughs> I raised all these from nothing. That's crazy, all these electric little cars. And then you got just vile galore. Yeah, I need to probably pull some out. Did you trim it? Yeah, I'll be trimming it. I'm about to say, it looked like it was trimmed a little bit. Yeah, I trimmed it. That's crazy, man. It, def good. it definitely is. You going to have to get the next swap? Yeah, I'm going to have these at the swap. I got a trio of super reds in there. It's a female right there. It's a super big female in here. I don't know where the male at. They ain't did nothing yet? No, they ain't did nothing. I don't know. I think my boy, he might be scared of it. You know? Oh, that's the male right there. I thought that was the Oh, female. I ain't seen him. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he might be scared of the girls. I don't know. I don't know what he got going on, but he ain't he ain't been he ain't been himself. He ain't been laying it down like 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 he's supposed to. <laughs> I know that. <sighs> but it's probably just too many fish in there too. So right, I'm gonna just thin this out. I might keep all the like the little small ones. Mm -hmm. I'll probably keep all those and throw those over there in the 125. Yeah, and then just sell off all the big stuff. Yeah, like this boy right here. Because people like the bigger fish anyway. Yeah, they do. Now let's keep moving. Well, we got them bloody reds or tanners. Good bloody reds. Plenty of them. Plenty of them. They going to the swap too. Yeah. I'm going to keep. They I'm need gonna, to. I'm going to keep a trio. Or I'll probably keep like a male and like three or four females. Mm -hmm. Just to get them to pair off or whatever. And then I'm down with them too. <laughs> I'm done with all these fish, bro. <laughs> I, I really am. I mean, I, I, I raised them from nothing. Yeah. You know, these fish is only like five months old. Right. So I raised them from from fry to what they is right now, which is, shit, they almost adults right now. Yeah, that's a fact. So. Definitely looking good. So you got looking for some of these to have them at the swap. Next swap. Definitely need to thin them out. Definitely do. That's a nice meal right there. Which yeah. one? Right there. This one? No. Or this one? Yeah, that one at the top. Yeah. He is bloody. Deep. He got a really deep one. red on him. Oh, yeah, he got some deep red, too. I mean, they colored up, but not like, you know, I just they, turned the lights on. They're so. not breeding colored up, but they just naturally nice and red, though. They will be, though. In about 30 minutes from now, bro, they're going to be so red, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you can see the breeding pair back there. Yeah, they back there. Or that's a two males going at it, or two females. I think that's a female right there, though. This one, I think yeah. that's the female. Yeah, because uh, she's she always skinny. back there. They probably they'd have had eggs five times back there, but I, I mean, yeah, she back there I cutting just don't up. Never take them out. But see, like the male, the males, they'll have like they got more of a hump on them. Yeah, but like if you look at their body, they got like. If you look at the side of them, you can see like the the, the speckles on the side of their bodies. Mm -hmm. And then the females, they don't have no speckles on the side. Like this one, yeah, no speckles on the sides of them. Yeah, they're pretty easy to sex once they get big. That's a good male too. Yeah, they're easy to sex. She over there cutting up. Yeah, though. she is. She's super orange or red or whatever. You got a more Pleco babies? I got more. Yeah. <laughs> I got a hundred. I already know how that be. That's I'm my mind looking at the house too. Just babies galore. Babies galore though. A hundred of them at least. Yeah, it can't go I around got some there. Pistols in here. Oh, you do? I uh, wonder. I ain't seen none. Yeah. Oh, okay. What kind is that? That's a a, a Vaida. Mm. Vaida pistol, and then I got some. Uh, oh, I see another one back there. It's like four of those in there, and then I got some. Uh, some plecos in here. Some reds in here, too. Like that one right there behind the driftwood. That's mm -hmm. a different kind right there. Yeah, I can't really see them. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got two of those in there and then four of the vaitas. So, and then these, these are the, the, the plecos. They, these, I got four plecos. They, they breed all the calicos, albinos, and regular browns. We got to keep them going. Keep them going. Down there just couple cool loaches in that thing. Got good uh, clown loaches. 150 clown loaches in there. That's insane. They in quarantine. 
Even though I had them for a while, somehow they got ick, so. Don't tell me about it. I don't do nothing but just dump food in there and a little, a little bit of medicine. I like how dark they are on this dark substrate. Yeah, they dark in there. I like how like that look. You going to have some of them at the uh, swap, too? Or you going to take them? You don't know yeah, yet? I'm going to probably take them. This one right here, that's a little skinny one in there. I ain't That one definitely won't be going. <laughs> It's so hard to even tell. They just crazy in there. Yeah. You got another pair, breeding pair. Another breeding pair down there. They bred for me twice, but they ate the fries, so. They, still they ain't good parents shit. That female, she's still kind of small, too, so. Yeah, they still got to learn. Takes time sometimes. But they definitely a breeding pair. That's why I just got them separate. If right. I get a pair, if I get a, a clutch out of them and a clutch out of them, they go. The parents is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause you gonna have you get another another batch of Kerbetsies. Yeah, that's some more Kerbetsies down there. These some ones you bred or you, no? No, them the ones that I imported. Oh, okay, they look good though. I sold most of them at the swap. Hmm. Look good. We got some black ghost knives or no? Oh yeah, there's some big ones in there. Some black ghost knives. There's a couple bicers in here, and then I got the air one. Oh yeah, see the air one. Which is a, a weird combination of fish to be together. Not really though. Yeah, be, believe it or not, them bicers. I had some small ghost knives in there, and the bicers was taking them out, taking them down. Yeah. You know your fish mean and nasty anyway. I don't know why. You it's got so the weird. most meanest fish I ever seen. They're weird, bro. <laughs> They're mean for nothing. <sighs> They're mean for absolutely no reason. They ain't got more stuff down here as well. Over here, like he got a bunch of what well, just like grow out stuff, right? Import tank full of bronze quarries. Green. Green. Yep, green quarries. It's a bunch of them in there. I got a whole breeding group of I might need some of those. Uh, these is blue eyes. I need those lemurs. You gotta get some Pair babies. Lemurs. You gotta get the babies out of them ASAP. I'll get them. You gotta ASAP. I'll get them. Trust me. <laughs> I'll get them. I'll, I'll get them. No doubt about it. Because those, I ain't never even seen those before. That's a different. Those good definitely, lemons. them definitely came from Mexico. They look like a fish that came from Mexico. Yeah, good lemons. Got some ruby greens. You still there. got these. You had these for a minute. Yeah, they grown up. I don't want them to grow too fast. They got too many apples. That male look good though. I might just sell the whole group. Yeah. I don't even need no baby. I'm I'm just done with Africans. I'm done with them. You done with the Africans? I never want to see another African unless it's a human being. <laughs> Only African I want to see. Oh, yeah. All the Soperhead babies. 300 up. Soperhead babies in there. Insane. Just put them in there this morning. Some more Molly's Platties. Molly's Platties. I got a bunch of them, too. There's a couple of the little Lima babies in here, though. I'm finna bring, bring, bring those back over here to you because I can't do nothing with them. Bring them back. I can't do nothing they with them. They're going to be there. right in here with these, and they're going to breed, and that's that. Right? Then I get no bigger tank than this. You got to wiggle some blue lips? Wiggle some blue lips. I keep them. I'm old school. You got to keep the old school fish, man. You got to keep them, bro. What you got down there? Oh, there's some nice little guppies in the dark. They shining, though. They're tuxedos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look like it. Or no, they're coy. They you, coy you ain't got no males? I mean, on females with them? I ain't got no females. I got all males. I got some baby Africans in there too. Oh, uh, see, so you got you just got Africans. That's why you don't want them more because you got too many I got of them. Too many. You got too many of them. I got, I got what red zebras in there. I got yellow lives over there. I got baby peacocks in that tank. Oh, I didn't even that see these. Tank. What's that? All the polar, polar blues. Polar blues that breed more cabensies. More cabensies. <laughs> all these cabensies right here, they all crooked though. Oh, they got so I'm not bent backs. Them, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They just going to live it out. A bunch of little Timmies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I 
I got some Cinnadonna's cats in the back. And, and look at that fryer eye, if you can see that mail back there. Yeah, I do. Right in the middle. I keep them, man. <laughs> I keep them on deck. I keep them on deck. <laughs> you got to keep them good lines around. There ain't nothing wrong with it. But yeah, we're going to go ahead in the video. I, I think. Show them the whistle, What's that? Show them oh, you got more? I got more fish in him. Show that. Look, I got fryer right here. We we'll just do this real quick. We got the Cooley Lotus, female bettas, and that thing. I got one little fish in here. I don't know where it's, <laughs> it's hiding somewhere. I just I just found that in the in the duck weed. And I got two hundred fryer right babies in there. I got another hundred. Yeah, I see she got uh, babies. Falling blues. That's the male. He didn't beat the female up. She back there. Cricket behind. mouth. She back breathing. there behind the sponge. He didn't beat her up. I'm done with these. I'm done with them. I got two of them done. Now I took my pair. Oh yeah. I took Man, my pair. That female got big. Put them in there. Yellow lab babies over here. And then all their babies over here. But look, the, the crazy thing is. The, these they bred, and the the boy looked just like the dad, and the female looked just like the mom, bro. As they should. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't know that. I didn't know they was gonna breed out like that. Why not? I just didn't. I, I mean, I I didn't know that the females was gonna have the short fin, and the dad would have the the leer tail. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's how that, that's kind of how it goes. Most of the females gonna look pretty much like that. But I like that. I like that look, though. Hell yeah! And then over here, I just got these guppies. The mom then passed away. But if you look in there, look on the back of the, the glass back there. Mm -hmm. I got all those little baby. Oh, bristle nose. Yeah. Wow. And on the back, they over there in that corner too. So. Oh, my old lady calling me. But all right, y'all. We gotta cut this video short. I appreciate you guys checking everything out, coming through, showing some love for Mr. Feed the Fish. He got some dope stuff going on. Uh, so if you guys want to reach out to him, hit him up on Facebook, Mr. Feed the Fish. If not, go to his YouTube channel, check, tap in, get in his comments, tell him to post a damn video. And what else? If not, we'll see y'all at the swap. We'll see y'all at the swap. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm out of here.